What's up guys, it's Tech coming at you today with a short little video about my upgrade to Skylake that I'm doing today. So in my current build, I have the Devil's Canyon i5 4690K and I wanted to beef it up a bit and go with the Skylake i7 6700K. So I don't need a cooler, this does not, whoa, almost my RAM almost fell. So this does not come with the stock cooler, but I have the Hyper 212 Evo in my rig that I'm gonna use to cool this amazing processor with the hyper threading that hopefully I'm really going to be able to take advantage of since I use Adobe Premiere for my video editing a lot. So I'll also leave links in the description box down below if you're considering doing a similar upgrade. I think all together, these parts set me back a little over $600 and hopefully won't do near as much damage if I can sell my processor, motherboard, and RAM from my old system to help offset some of the cost. All right, so this guy set you back around 300, 330. For the RAM, I'm pretty excited about this random access memory. I kind of saw this at the last second. I wanted to go with the highest speed I could find. So this was 3200 megahertz. I was looking at a different kit of two eight gigabyte sticks of DDR4 memory that were rated at the same 3200 megahertz. And I was also looking for the lowest latency. So these have a cast latency of 16, but the real selling point for me, oddly enough, was these were similar in price to the ones I was looking at Except these have red LEDs on them. That's pretty exciting stuff, this LED RGB craze. So the red LEDs will go perfect with my system that I have right now that has some red fans. So that's pretty exciting to see. So last but not least, I think I went a little overkill with the motherboard. I mean, you can really go all out on motherboards. I was gonna go with one. I found one for like $105 from MSI. It was a Z170A Pro but I kept looking at the connectivity and extra metal to hold your graphics card in place and the different features that this one in particular have. And I believe this is the successor to the current motherboard that I have. I have currently the Z97 Gaming 5. So this is the Z170A Gaming M5. So let me unbox this beautiful motherboard so you can get a good look at it. I'll go through the features briefly and I might follow up with a full review of this motherboard as well as the RAM. I don't know if I could do a full review on the RAM. Dun dun, dun dun dun. I always love MSI's packaging. Oh, it smells wonderful. Okay, so let's, let me. Anti static bag that it comes in. Oh my god, the red looks like premium red. It's not like some cheap red, it's like a royal red. Let me get the focus on the motherboard and not on my face. Got that royal red. I got that steel armor to really hold your graphics card in place. So this motherboard supports two-way SLI, three-way crossfire, if you wanted to go with an AMD setup. We have here in the front a PS2 port and underneath two USB ports that have three times the amount of gold than regular connectors, a DVI port, the red USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A port, and a USB 3 Gen 2 Type C port, and two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, an HDMI port, Killer LAN, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports underneath, and HD audio connectors and optical Sony slash Philips digital interface out. And moving on to the other side, we have six SATA 3 ports, four of which are reserved for SATA Express. So back to the front of the motherboard, it has a heavy plated heatsink design that looks like it means business, those premium power phases, and twin turbo M.2. That's 10 times faster than your SATA 3 connections. And also it's turbo U.2 ready. And as you would expect, the BIOS is known for being really amazing for those easy and wicked overclocking potential. It also comes with three SATA cables, a little MSI badge, if you wanted to label your cables, you can. They provide that for you. We've got a thick guide for some reading on the toilet or in your free time. And of course, we have the MSI Do Not Disturb Me I Am Gaming badge. So you can set this up in your man cave or your room, dorm room, office. What the office would be great. And no one's gonna bother you in your office. I'm gaming with the dragon, my friends. Do not bother me. And we have the quick installation guide as well. Let's see what else, one more thing. Is this a thank you? Thank you for choosing MSI. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. You can register your product at MSI.com. We have the IO shield, black and red, pretty fancy stuff we got going on here. All right, everyone, the RAM. We have two sticks of random access memory from Corsair. So let me go ahead and unbox this. Probably not gonna be too much to behold, too much to see here, but you know, why would I make a video and not at least show you guys what these sticks are gonna look like. They feel cool, like there's a, like they have aluminum, like they're plated in aluminum. You can see here where the LEDs are up top. So 
So that's pretty sweet. 3200 megahertz, around $90. Vengeance Red, they also have some with white LEDs if that matches your case better. So I am pretty excited about these two sticks of DDR4 random access memory to go in my Skylake Upgrade LGA 1151 gaming PC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the last unboxing, we have the Core i7 unlocked i7-6700K. So there's not much to see here. So I'm actually not gonna unbox this for you guys right now. I'll just take the chip out and you guys know what that looks like. So no stock heat sink fan, just the chip. Super excited about this. This seems to be the king of the jungle for price and performance right now for gaming and productivity. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Well, that's it for this video, guys. You know what to do. Please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it and wanna see my channel grow. Comment if you have a comment or let me know what kind of system you're currently rocking. As always, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. This is John from Off Tech. Can't wait to catch you guys in the next video.